Coming up on this edition of Inside Look, they are the two most important words in California's massive firefighting efforts, mutual aid. It's really neighbor helping neighbor, but it's an extensive, elaborate, fabulous system that is in place in California, doesn't exist any other place in the world. We're going behind the scenes to get an inside look at what happens when the fire season heats up here in California. Plus, we'll take a tour of one of the specialized firefighting rigs headed to a community near you. Cal OES logo, Inside Look, OESnews.com. Welcome to Inside Look. I'm Brian May in the Cal OES newsroom, and today we are talking about mutual aid. It's what happens when your local fire department needs help from outside. You may not know it, but it's in use every day, battling California's most difficult wildfires. Simply put, mutual aid is truly neighbor helping neighbor. It's the system that gets help from anywhere to anywhere at any time. Every day at Cal OES headquarters in Sacramento, there's constant coordination happening between incident commanders at the wildfires and those responsible for deciding the next best move. Think of this as a 911 call for first responders. Who needs what, where can we get it, and how long will it take to get there? Everything from fire engines to specially trained firefighting teams. There is no real fire season specifically anymore. It's kind of an all year kind of event in California. But, but we are an all risk mutual aid system, which means that we have to be able to respond to all kinds of events. And it's not uncommon year round that we're having to move uh, these mutual aid assets up and down the state. And it's not uncommon to see resources from San Diego as far north as Humboldt or Del Norte County uh, or vice versa. As well as we do business, uh, it has some fragile sides of the house. Um, it depends on neighbor uh, helping neighbor. Um, in the old days, that was literally your neighbor. Today, it's actually uh, Siskiyou County going all the way down to San Diego or San Diego all the way up to Siskiyou County. It's a very great system, very robust. But uh, you know, our job is to manage that, coordinate it, and uh, feed it as best we can uh, and try to make the adjustments accordingly. Keeping that complex system working effectively, as you can imagine, is a constant juggling act for fire officials. During the summer fire season, there's often hundreds of firefighters traveling from one incident to another in California. And you've probably seen them. Caravans of fire trucks headed somewhere, but you just weren't sure where or why they were all together. Well, here's the inside scoop. What you saw is what the fire service calls a strike team. It's a caravan of five engines, usually 20 to 25 people, and it's usually a combination of local, state, and Cal OES resources. A telltale sign that it's a strike team? Well, look for the mix of different fire departments working together as one single team. And at Cal OES, there are over 140 engines and equipment specifically for mutual aid. These are strategically placed throughout the state for quick response. All right, I want us to take a closer look now at one of these strike team engines. So we are joined by Bill Bonchu, Assistant Chief with the OES Fire and Rescue Division. Chief, so much, thank you so much for joining us. I know you've got one of your engines behind us. Can you describe what this is and what all it can do? Sure, I'd be happy to. This is a 2016 HME, uh, what we call our Model 34. It's a Type 3 engine uh, purchased by OES. We have 40 of these in the state and they're assigned to various departments around uh, California and they're staffed and used when we request them. They're a, it's a four-wheel drive unit. Um, it's high wheelbase so it can get into tough country. It carries 500 gallons of water, pumps 750 gallons a minute. It has uh, foam capabilities and um, car like I say, carries four people. This is their brass compartment. Um, there's all kinds of adapters in here. For example, this adapter here is used to tap into an existing line to branch a line off for mop up. And you can see it reduces uh, different sizes as well. Um, the pump panel here is, is the uh, feature for the apparatus engineer. He can um, determine how much water he has in his tank. He can uh, monitor the pressure that's going out on the hose lines. He can inject foam into the hose lines to help the firefighters uh, more effectively extinguish the fire. A um, lot, of, lot of things that this can do. Um, there's a lot of compartmentation in here for the folks because they're out on 14 day assignments. So they carry their line gear, their fire bags, uh, out of county bags, they're out for 14 days sometimes. So they have to have their creature comforts, their sleeping bags, their tents. 
Um, there's long handled tools, there's chainsaws. Um, we also carry thermal gel in the back. Uh, there's a portable pump that they can use if they're near a creek bed. They can uh, replenish the engine's water and continue the firefighting effort. Um, it carries medical equipment for uh, uh, medical purposes for the firefighters themselves or if we run across something from the public. And um, yeah, they're very nice engines. They're very, very sought after. <laughs> And when these engines get assigned to a local agency, you can tell where they're assigned because the local agency will put their name on the side of these engines, correct? Yeah, that's correct. And so we, like when they're at fires, they'll be grouped up. Sometimes we'll have 20 of them and we can tell by the side door uh, who they belong to, but we can also tell by their strike team designator where, what part of the state they came from um, to our fire. Chief, let me just so ask you, and I know this probably seems like a simple question, but how crucial are engines like this to California's mutual aid system? This is probably the most critical uh, asset that we have that we can offer up to the forest agencies. The demand for these this year is um, exceeded more than uh, we can all provide. And I think it's primarily because of the wildland urban interface. These engines can get up into those narrow driveways and do a lot of good in protecting structures and doing structure defense than the, the big you know, city engines. These are much more suitable for that kind of environment. So you're saying this one will not be sitting on our lot very long before being reassigned? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm, uh, I think this one's gonna get going here pretty quick. Chief, thank you so much for taking time and joining us and showing the ins and outs of these beautiful trucks. Okay, thanks for having me, it's been a pleasure. If you'd like to learn more about California's mutual aid system, you can visit the Cal OES Fire and Rescue Branch page at caloes.ca.gov. Or if you're in the fire service, visit firescope.org for helpful resources. And as always, we encourage you to watch more stories like this at our online newsroom, oesnews.com. We also like hearing from you, so join the discussion on our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And that will do it for this edition of Inside Look. I'm Brian May for all of us here in the Cal OES newsroom. Thanks for watching. Cal OES logo, Inside Look, oesnews.com.